found justice. But no, this is a crock. This is a crock of of hate. This is a crock of private projections of private agendas. This is a failure and this is the end of the justice the way it is served and this will be no more. All of you, everyone who's on the bench will step away from the bench right now. As of now, the Queen has passed and uh, you know, Mr. Charles, you have the gumption of saying you're going to continue the service of what the Queen has did. You have failed to meet her justice. You have failed of anything that's called justice. You have failed our children. Why am I so upset? Because I would, with 100% proof, with 100% reason and with 100% justification, claim that the Superior Court of Justice is a stakeholder in the death of my mother, in the murder of my mother, in the failure of justice for my mother. Superior Court of Justice is a thing. Judge Donahue is a part of it. You have created this thing, you have made this, and you have the audacity to come on my files over and over again. That is what justice is. That is justice for you. Damn you and damn your justice. Today is the day it will finish its end. There's no more. The Superior Court of Justice will shut down because we cannot take your hogwash stupidity and your hate towards society anymore. Your self-righteous Pharisee seducing like hate towards society anymore. You will quit. You have failed. My children have been abducted from Alberta and brought to this little wretched hellhole called Sanya, where uh, my children have been hid behind this imbecile called Donna Yu. You know this Mr. Hate Projector? Who made him judge? Who the hell made this hater a judge? And guess what? It's still going on. Like, you know, you would think, you know, after like uh, destroying uh, hundreds of lives, causing hundreds of suicides, causing hundreds of hundreds of children to go astray, uh, pushing the agenda of, uh, of uh, sexualities, you know, about uh, uh, private sexualities, private agendas, just because your relative, just because your child is uh, has some kind of sexuality things uh, from the normal. You have made it your thing to push that agenda of sexuality. And it's still going on. As of now, I want you, sir, to get the hell. Justice will be served in which there will be life imprisonment without parole forever for Justice John or you. Just as we could, just as Carrie, and a whole lot of sunmas. Okay, you will get the damn hell out of the Superior Court of Justice. You are banned from the Superior Court of Justice. You are the bad apples of the Superior Court of Justice. You is like a hater, hateful. You know, I for the past sixteen years. I have been putting on my suit and my best tie and my best persona and my best thing and come into court, you know, religiously, you know, saying, yes, sir, no, sir, eating humble pie for sake of my children, for sake of my mother, for sake of society, because that's what you expect from me. And I've done it diligently. And I have come to realize that you are not going to listen to me. You are going to continue your despicable, hateful agenda no matter what. And 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 what? Where's that thing? Where's that pictures? Justice. This is not justice. This is pin the pin the tail on the elephant. You know? Because where it's supposed to be blind. The judge knows exactly what's going on. The judge knows that this person is lying to the to this the judge knows that this woman is a hateful bitch. You know, this the judge knows that this child the children are going down the gutter. The judge knows that that if you think but no the judge is supposed to be blind. He can only manage scope. 
only about what has been said during the motion. I would like to say, I would like to clearly express myself and say this is a non motion, yeah, towards uh, the justice in Canada. This is a non-confidence motion for the justice in Canada. Damn you and damn your justice. You need to get the hell out of it, sir, because you are incompetent. You are the reason why we have this failure of society. You are the reason why we have Vancouver East Side. You are the reason why we have drug addiction. You are the reason why we have failures of society. You are the reason why we have teenage pregnancies. You are the reason why we have rabid corporate failure. You are the reason why we have hateful politics. You are the fundamental reason why we can't have justices like a crock of shit. The law society is a bunch of hoodlums, a bunch of hoodlums, a bunch of fucking hoodlums who know to say the right thing, the right gambit, the right words and the right things to get it to work. They're all, it's all about saying the right freaking words, about saying the right things, about playing the gambit. This is like a legal gambits. Legal freaking gambits. That's what it is. So if I go to court and uh, let me tell you this. I am the best parent in the world, okay? I am the best, like, not you, not your mama, not your daddy, nobody compares to me. I am the best parent in on this planet. Yet, legally, I've been made into a demon. Legally, I've been made into the demon by the likes of that Sanma gun, that son of a, you know, that hater, that who's that, Simpson, Simpson M.A., you know, that, that that sociopath, that lying, cheating person who will sell his mama for the for two bits, yeah, he has made me into a freaking demon. He has used like stupid, stupid claims and stupid things, saying that I'm feeding my children rotten potatoes, saying that I'm speaking bad about the other person. Well, you have inundated my child about bad and negative things about me. You have made me into a monster to my children. First it was alien isolation, parental isolation, and then it's parental alienation. So no, sir, this is it. You will get the hell off the fucking bench because I am done with y'all. You know, I, I have put, when I started doing this, this not happened overnight. This is not all me going like busy over here overnight. It is for the past 16 years, I've been thrusted. The law has been thrusted upon me and I've been abused by the law. At least if the law was like worthy, if it was worthy of our things, then no, nothing. There's nothing over here of substance. There's nothing over here that has anything to do with justice. There's nothing over here that is really truthfully in the best interest of the child. There's nothing over here that is truly in justice for the widow. There's nothing over here that is truly in the best interest of society. There's nothing over here that is truthful. There's nothing over here that has any kind of ethics, morals, or anything of really, of really intrinsic value or anything to do with goodness or anything. This is a crack of bullshit. This is like pinning the tail on the elephant. So what happens is the, the, the more senior you are, the more, uh, uh, the more senior you are on this failed law society, the more ability you have to know about. It's like playing chess. This is like a freaking game of chess. This is just chess gambits. where 
where senior lawyers they know oh yeah i can just like bang that i can put it like uh, see the uh, based on ocj uh, the, 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 the reference use on uh, based on this case law uh, that thing the the things is this is a, a technical power problem sir and this is like a uh, service was not uh, conducted you know there is no justice for example i'll give you another this is not only limited to family law this is not only limited to the, like uh, the failure to the murder of my mother and the abduction of my children to make them into like a um yeah that is the thing my children have been taken from me and they've been put in they've been put in into the hands of monsters like that fucking doctor raj singh and now doctor raj singh 